So excited for Mother's Day, it'd be fun to take my mom for a ride and gotta have it race. And obviously she knows I'm a huge car fan. Yeah, I heard my father back in the day would always make fun of me and be like, hey, you can't buy real cars like you buy Hot Wheels when you're a kid. And I obviously proved they're very wrong with that. She can't keep up with half the cars I have. She doesn't even know which ones I have or which ones I got rid of or anything like that. She likes the cars. She actually has a Bronco she drives. She has a new Bronco, but she's not a big fan of speed. <laughs> like if, I, if I go a little fast or take a corner a little quick, it usually freaks her out. So she's never been in this car. We're gonna take her for a spin and see how it goes. This is your first time doing a video. Yes. Are you nervous? Not really. You get me into more situations. I, I would say, yeah. So what was it like having a car guy as a son growing up? I mean, how many different cars went in and out of our house over the years? Well, as your father used to say, he never thought you would own more Mustangs than you had Matchbox cars, but you fooled I both of them us. Wrong on that yes, one for sure. There was always cars coming and going, just like now. Well, my first Fox Body Mustang, I remember you were actually involved in me finding that car because when I wanted that blue GT convertible, I couldn't find one. And I remember you kind of made it a mission to find that car. Well, I do what I can to help you. Not always successful, but it's fun. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so proud of the work you do for CJ's and the car community in general. You probably can't even keep track of how many cars I've had anymore. If I was on a contest to win a million dollars, I'd lose. <laughs> I pity the poor people that have to always transfer your titles. Ah, uh, no, I got a good guy that helped me out with that. The funny thing is the insurance company, because we've had so many cars that literally the uh, they have to change the policy. We have letters at the end of our number now because we've been through it so many times. Well, She's used to it, though. I like how you get me into these kind of situations always, and it's fun. I wouldn't say always, but we, we've had a few. We've had a good life. Very interesting. Mustangs have taken me a lot of places in my life, that's for sure. Yes, they have. I used to be, uh, you know, wrenching out in the, uh, the courtyard in the townhouse back in the day to now doing <laughs> videos that people see all over the, all over the world, really. It's kind of... It's kind of scary when I think about it. Starting out learning to drive on my Volkswagen when we weren't around. That was my Volkswagen. The Bug? That was my oh, car. Oh, okay. That was the one I See, bought you... from the money from painting roofs back in the day. You've had so many cars I don't even remember. Me and Bob were painting chimneys, and I think I was, I think I was 13 or 14 when I bought that white Bug. We saw it on our way out to Zern's, I think. And I remember fix, taking that apart and taking dad's taillights out of his escort back in the day. And as a youngster, your father would always get so angry at you because you'd take things apart, like little toys or whatever. I, I did. And I had, you never put them back together again. I wanted to see how it worked. So it was easier. Exactly. It was easier to figure out how it worked by taking it apart. Yes. And they were all over the place. Now my garage hasn't changed much. There's still parts all over the place. I make a living now, though, showing people how to put stuff back together, so it's probably a method to my madness back in the day. I'm sure it was, and I'm so happy you have a job that you truly enjoy, because a lot of people don't have that. No, even if even even in those days where it becomes a job, it's still uh, I, I still get to work on cars, and yeah, I tell some people be careful when you make your passion into your employment, but in this case, it worked out pretty good. Yes, it did, and as I said before. We're very proud of you. Turn around and head back. Is that it? Pretty much. Oh. That's all it really was. I hope I did all right. We're going to race it. This is the car that we bought to race back in 2012. That me and Steve traveled all over the country racing. Mm -hmm. And then I bought it back a month ago, I guess. And we're going to take it back out and get it back on the drag strip. How did you find it again? Because ah, I knew who owned it. This one's pretty fast. Oh. Sorry, I had to do that once. <laughs> Are we being filmed? <laughs> yes. Oh, my heart. This one runs pretty good. Yes. I think the only 
car I ever scared you in, though, was the Blue Boss that I had, the one with the, the two turbos on it. I took you and Dad for a ride around your neighborhood, and I think that's the only time you actually screamed at one of the cars that I was driving. That one was pretty fast. Well, this wasn't exactly slow. No, this one runs good for what it is. Now, this one's about 450 horsepower. That Boss was about double that. And what's my Bronco? Uh, 100 and, I think yours is 165. I honestly don't know. It's somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah, there's a big difference. My Bronco that you helped me with, I love it. Nah, the, Bron the Bronco's a great little vehicle. I'm glad you got that. And I love the color, and I love the graphics that you guys put on it for me. It is amazing to me through all this, though, that... You never owned a Mustang. No, I never did. I've had extras for years. Survived. Sorry, I had to scare you a little bit. That's okay. I love you anyway. Oh, yeah. I'm happy Mother's happy Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't so bad. God, I didn't know I was going to be scared shitless. Now, if you would have told me that, I probably wouldn't have done it. But... How are you doing? Oh, good until he's scared the shit out of me.